Well, actually, I was in, uh, in Munich, Munchen, when, um, uh, <laughs> that's what they call it, damn it. Anyway, uh, I was there when uh, Vikram contacted me and said, you know, would you like to speak for Lime Diaries? And, um, you know, being cheapskate Indian travelers, well, it's, am I talking about this uh, different aspect altogether? You know, not cheapskate, but prudent Indian travelers. We always, when we lose our phones, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, wherever. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, I couldn't download my mail, so my husband was doing a lot of, uh, uh, you know, back and forth calling on WhatsApp, free. <laughs> so, except at Dubai airport where they ban everything. Uh, so, he said, look, what do, uh, you know, I said, okay, I talk, and all. I said, There's a, you know, give a title, what are you going to say? So, I was packing my damn luggage and trying to wait and saying, okay, this is more than 22 kilos. And I said, just tell them it's traveling like a diva on a budget. <laughs> so I'm an avid traveler. I'm totally addicted to traveling. And I don't think there's anything which uplifts your soul as much as just traveling. And uh, honest to goodness. <laughs> And for years, I waited uh, for my husband to join me or some other friends to join me. And I remember the disastrous trip we had to Paris, OK, where my husband kept saying, yaar, how many more cathedrals are we going to see? Yaar? Uh, how many, uh, any more? Yaar? Why do we have to see this also? We have to climb. Uh, so expensive, the wine. Well, uh, so it, it wasn't romantic, and it was definitely not what I'd imagined. So I decided to do things, take matters into my own hand, and this is for all the ladies and gentlemen here, uh, who are a couple or not a couple or whatever it, else it is, really seize the opportunity and travel on your bloody own. Just travel on your own. And as much as um, my little friend Darius would have said, you know, they're backpackers and all that, he called me a whale for heaven's sake until I called him a shrimp. <laughs> and then he looked at me with a very hurt expression on his face and said, how mean. I said, you left yourself open for this. He said, you know, somebody's going to talk about the whales and all that. And then you go up and say, oh, don't talk about me. <laughs> Everybody and their grandfather is a bloody stand-up comic. Where does that leave place for me? Anyway, back to traveling. My family loves it when I travel because I come back in this absolutely wonderful mood. Don't worry about it. I may take a holiday, but I love. Don't worry about it. So, um, I mean, this sort of euphoria lasts for some time, and it's, it's wonderful. And actually, I've been traveling for quite some time. And uh, then I decided to do places where I don't find other Indian tourists. <laughs> I love Indian, I mean, I love my fellow Indians, br brothers and sisters, or whoever else they are. But they're a pain in the, as you would say in France, the derriere. <laughs> so uh, I've just come back from Munchen, <laughs> Munich. I just come back. I, I did the uh, Bavarian route. And it was absolutely magical because I went to the northern part of, uh, of Germany. You know, I saw the Bavarian culture, which is very, very different. Then we sort of went through the Landic Valley in, in Austria, which was a place called Landeck and uh, the Lech Valley, actually. A place, we landed in a place called Landeck. And of course, my friend uh, Prasad Bidupa, who's avidly on Facebook with me, said, are the people from Lake Valley called lechers? But anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, then we went through that. We, I mean, I, I, I really saw, I, I went there actually to see Heidi's village. It was beautiful. It was right on the top. Uh, it, it's in a place called Man, uh, Mansfeld. Mansfeld, OK? pronounce most of the things, but who cares? <laughs> and from there, you sit in this little horse carriage, which goes ding, 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 all the way up the Alps. 
and it takes you to this, what they call Heidi's Village, which is a very good marketing strategy and makes you very mad with Indians because we have houses like that that still exist. And there was this ramshackle, you know, sort of wooden house, but it was a very true um, symbol of how people lived in those days. And uh, what really came across to me is how much people love the mountains. How much people really love their land. It's really tough, you know. I mean, it m must have been tough even about 100 years ago. It's really, really tough. But people just love the mountains. And uh, Heidi is also type of an autobiographical story where the author, she, I mean, she also got married to a lawyer and went um, to live in another town. And she missed the mountains herself. And she did meet a girl like Heidi, who lived in the upper parts of the Alps where she came down and um, she met the author and she lived with her grandfather. And then she did have this type of autobiographical story, but it is really beautiful the way everything is explained to you and that really makes me mad at India because we have so much, we have so, so much to offer, but we just don't have the right infrastructure. And um, coming to traveling like a diva, Vikram warned me I'm not supposed to go all over the place. I'm supposed to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. <laughs> I have the middle and the end. <laughs> anyway, jokes apart, what I really feel is there are places that you can go to which become a little expensive, like 17 lakhs, I would have covered half the world. <laughs> really, with free Wi-Fi. I've seen the whales. I've seen them from a cruise liner in Alaska, where they went bobby bobby up and down. And I was inside, you know, the heated place. It depends how you want to travel, you know. I, I, I've seen these uh, whatever. I, I, like I said, I went up in the mountains and my personal horse drawn casually. Chin, 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 chin. You know, I, I walked as little as possible, but that wasn't possible. I had to walk quite a bit. Um, for me, it's quite a bit. But there are places that you can see, and girls, guys, just go out there, make a group of people, and just go out there, because there are many things you can't afford to do in, as two people, as four people, as you know, five people. If there are 10 people, you can do it. And you can do it. And it's not so bad. I mean, they're quasi-strangers, but it's not so bad traveling with uh, strangers, because then they're always on their best behavior. And if they're Indian strangers, they always have Haldiram something or the other to give. <laughs> All right, guys, great. Thank you. Good night.